Welcome to the new episode of The History Guy. Today is a special episode as we will be discovering the unforeseen tragedy of the Titanic. 1912, the year of grand ambitions and supposed invincibility. The RMS Titanic, a marvel of engineering, sliced through the Atlantic. Proclaimed unsinkable, it was a testament to human achievement, a luxurious palace promising a new life across the ocean. But beneath the dazzling lights and confident pronouncements, a shadow lurked. The creator of the Titanic challenged everyone this ship is unsinkable. RMS Titanic set sail in the year 1912, hailed as a marvel of modern engineering. A floating palace promising luxury and a new life across the Atlantic. But beneath the veneer of grandeur lurked a darkness. A chilling premonition, whispers of a curse, and a crew harboring a terrifying secret. Tonight, we delve beyond the disaster. We explore the chilling tales that haunted the ship, the whispers of a fate worse than icy waters. Was the Titanic truly doomed, or was something more sinister at play? Join us as we unearth the truth behind the legend. We'll speak to experts, historians, and those brave enough to explore the wreck itself. Prepare to be chilled as we uncover the haunting truth of the Titanic, the ship of horrors. The tragedy of the Titanic wasn't just a single, unlucky encounter. It was a chilling combination of factors that snowballed into disaster. Let's delve deeper. Number 1 A Collision Course with Fate Speeding Through the Ice Fields Despite warnings of icebergs in the area, the Titanic maintained a high speed. The pressure to set a new speed record and an underestimation of the danger from icebergs contributed to this decision. A lackadaisical lookout, the lookout crew, tasked with spotting dangers, was understaffed and inadequately trained. Additionally, the crow's nest lacked binoculars, a crucial tool for nighttime visibility. Fatal turned when the lookout finally spotted the iceberg, it was too late. The officer on duty, 6th Officer Murdoch, attempted to avoid a head on collision but the ship's sheer size made a sharp turn impossible. Number two, a flaw in the design watertight compartment, the Titanic boasted watertight compartments, designed to contain flooding and keep the ship afloat even if breached. However, a critical flaw existed. These compartments only reached B deck, not high enough to prevent the entire ship from succumbing if the damage extended above. Brittle rivets, the hull plates were fastened together with rivets, but a cheaper type with a lower melting point was used. This made them more susceptible to breaking upon impact with the iceberg, worsening the tears in the hull. Number 3 A Failure to Communicate Lifeboat Capacity Miscalculation The Titanic's lifeboats were woefully inadequate. Built for show rather than functionality, they could only hold a fraction of the passengers and crew on board. This was a grave oversight based on outdated regulations. Evacuation chaos, the women and children first policy, while a standard of the time, caused confusion and delayed boarding. Additionally, a lack of proper lifeboat drills meant many passengers were unfamiliar with safety procedures. Distress signals ignored, the Titanic relied on outdated Marconi wireless technology. The distress call, though sent, was either ignored or misinterpreted by nearby ships, leaving the Titanic to its fate. Number for a descent into darkness, unequal serval, the lack of lifeboats exposed a harsh reality. Many passengers, particularly those in lower class cabins, were left behind as the lifeboats were filled to capacity. The tragedy highlighted the stark social inequalities of the time. A race against time as the frigid water filled the compartments, the Titanic began its slow descent. The band continued to play, a haunting testament to the bravery and resilience of some on board. A legacy of loss just two hours and 40 minutes after striking the iceberg, the once majestic Titanic disappeared beneath the waves, taking over 1,500 lives with it. The sinking of the Titanic wasn't just a maritime disaster. It was a stark reminder of human hubris and the consequences of underestimating risks. In the following parts of this video, we'll explore the haunting stories of the tragedy and the lessons learned that continue to shape maritime safety today. Dear viewers, Titanic was known to be a ship of dreams, built with nightmares. The allure of the Titanic was undeniable, but beneath the veneer of luxury lurked a series of shortcomings that would prove tragically fatal. Let's delve deeper into the factors that contributed to the disaster. The pride of the White Star Line cutting-edge technology, the Titanic was a marvel of its time. Its massive size, powerful engines, and advanced electrical systems were testaments to human ingenuity. 
The builders, Harland and Wolf Shipyard, boasted it as the unsinkable ship. A floating palace, the interior was designed to impress. First-class passengers enjoyed opulent staterooms, lavish dining rooms, a swimming pool, a Turkish bath, and even a cafe modeled after a Parisian sidewalk cafe. Every detail screamed luxury and indulgence. A fluorescent watertight compartment, a key element of the unsinkable claim was the presence of watertight compartments. These bulkheads were designed to seal off sections of the hull if breached, preventing the entire ship from sinking. However, a critical flaw existed. These compartments only reached B deck, not high enough to prevent the ship from succumbing. If the damage extended above, as it did in the iceberg collision, brittle rivets to save on costs, the shipyard used a cheaper type of rivet to fasten the hull plates together. These rivets had a lower melting point and were more susceptible to breaking upon impact with the iceberg, worsening the tears in the hull and allowing water to spread more quickly. A microcosm of society, a class system at sea, the Titanic was a microcosm of early 20th century society. First class passengers, predominantly wealthy elites, enjoyed the aforementioned luxuries. Second class passengers had more modest accommodations while third-class passengers were relegated to cramped quarters with minimal amenities. This class division would have a tragic impact during the evacuation. The unsinkables and the forgotten first-class passengers, often referred to as the unsinkables, were confident in the ship's safety and initially hesitant to leave. Meanwhile, third-class passengers faced restricted access to the upper decks where the lifeboats were located. This social hierarchy contributed to the unequal survival rates of the disaster. A diadlimic alchantant lifeboats for show, not safety, the Titanic's lifeboats were woefully inadequate. Regulations at the time were based on outdated tonnage measurements, not actual passenger capacity. Furthermore, the lifeboats were primarily for show, designed to complement the sleek lines of the ship rather than prioritize functionality. They could only hold a fraction of the passengers and crew on board, a grave oversight with deadly consequences. A lack of drills, lifeboat drills were not taken seriously, and many passengers, particularly those in lower classes, were unfamiliar with safety procedures. This confusion and lack of preparedness wasted precious time during the evacuation. The combination of these factors a flawed design, a miscalculation of lifeboat capacity and a social hierarchy that prioritized some lives over others created a perfect storm of disaster. In the next part of this video, we'll explore the chilling events of the night. The Titanic sank and the haunting stories of those who were on board. So what really happened at the end? It was a disaster. As the icy grip of the iceberg tore through the hull, the unsinkable Titanic began its descent. Panic erupted, shattering the illusion of safety. A chaotic scramble for servable confusionarians, distress calls pierced the night. But conflicting orders and a lack of clear communication led to chaos. Passengers in first class were initially hesitant to leave, clinging to the belief the ship was truly unsinkable. Meanwhile, third class passengers faced locked gates and struggled to reach the lifeboats. The women and children first policy, while a standard of the time, this policy created further delays. Determining who qualified as children caused confusion, and some men disguised themselves as women to board. This focus on social hierarchy hampered efficient evacuation. A symphony of courage the band played on amidst the panic, the ship's musicians became beacons of hope. They continued to play music, calming nerves and providing a sense of order in the face of chaos. Their bravery and dedication remain a powerful symbol of the human spirit in the face of disaster. Acts of selflessness, countless stories of heroism emerged from the tragedy. Passengers gave up their spots on lifeboats to others, crew members risked their lives to ensure women and children boarded safely, and strangers offered comfort and support as the inevitable unfolded. A heartbreaking fair felt despair and sacrifice as the lifeboats filled and pulled away, desperate cries echoed across the water. Parents said goodbye to children, spouses embraced for the last time and individuals faced the terrifying reality of being left behind. The icy embrace, those who couldn't board lifeboats faced a horrific fate. The freezing water offered no solace, and many succumbed to hypothermia within minutes. The cries for help slowly faded into the night, leaving behind an unsettling silence. The sinking of the Titanic wasn't just a maritime disaster. It was a human tragedy of epic proportions. 
In the final part of this video, we'll explore the aftermath of the disaster and the lasting impact it had on the world. The sinking of the Titanic wasn't just a story of loss. It was a catalyst for change. The tragedy exposed critical flaws in maritime safety regulations and forever altered the way we navigate the seas. A turning point for safety the birth of Solas in the aftermath of the disaster. The International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea Solas was established. This international treaty addressed the issues highlighted by the Titanic sinking. It mandated sufficient lifeboats for all passengers and crew, mandatory lifeboat drills, continuous radio watches, and stricter regulations on ship construction and watertight compartments. The International Ice Patrol The disaster also led to the formation of the International Ice Patrol. This organization continues to monitor the North Atlantic for icebergs and issues warnings to ships navigating the region. Lessons learned, life saved a lasting impact the legacy of the Titanic lives. On in the rigorous safety protocols that govern modern passenger ships. These regulations, born from the tragedy, have undoubtedly saved countless lives. A reminder of human fallibility, the Titanic serves as a stark reminder of human hubris and the consequences of underestimating risks. It highlights the importance of prioritizing safety over convenience and the need for constant vigilance in the face of potential dangers. The story of the Titanic is one of ambition, hubris, and ultimately, devastating loss. But from the ashes of tragedy rose a renewed commitment to safety, ensuring that such a disaster never befalls us again. The legacy of the Titanic lives on, not just in the haunting memories of that fateful night, but in the countless lives saved by the lessons learned. The legend of the Titanic continues to captivate us. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Ship of Horrors, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more chilling historical deep dives. We'll be exploring other maritime disasters and uncovering the mysteries of the deep. Don't forget to share this video with anyone who loves a good spooky story. Take care of yourself and of your channel The History Guy.